guys, by the way, it's literally freaking snowing right now. Um, just to let you guys know, it's almost May. And, like, I don't get this. Like, can you tell me, like, what's wrong with Chicago weather? <laughs> It's going to be like a YouTube tip type of video where I'll tell you how to get subscribers, how to get your watch time up, how to get all that stuff up so you can get your YouTube paycheck, I guess. And yes, I know I, I'm i not that far either. Like, I, I haven't gotten that far on YouTube. I only have like 100 um, subscribers. But like, I just want to like bring this video to like help you guys and like inform you guys on what you're doing like wrong i guess and like how to help that how to make you do better and stuff so let's just get right into the video okay so the first tip that we're going to start off with is personality and your view on youtube whether you like youtube whether you like making videos you like editing videos because this helps you a lot if you don't like editing videos or you don't like filming then youtube is not for you but if you're one of those people like me who loves filming and loves editing videos, then that's just gonna help you. It's gonna give you a bigger advantage on gaining subscribers and gaining watch hours and all that stuff. So starting off with, if you like to edit videos and you have like good editing videos where it's like the editing is good, it doesn't have to be top notch, but it has to be like normal. It has to be good. You can't just connect the clips together when you first start. It's not going to really get you much. You have to like put zoom in, like anything like that. Obviously, you're going to have to get Final Cut Pro because that's expensive and it's $300. You could use simple iMovie on your phone. Or if you have a computer, use a computer to get it. And that just helps you a lot. Like, so, so there's so many famous YouTubers right now who have other people edit their videos. And I think that's so pointless. So what's the point of having YouTubers if you can't edit your own videos? So I think for sure you should love editing you should like filming videos okay so the second tip is lighting have good lighting like right now my lighting is pretty good i guess i can say it's not bad um and with lighting if you don't have good lighting then nobody's gonna want to watch your videos especially if it's like you can't even see you there's no point in watching that video you want good lighting to focus on like your video, you want it to be like good. You can even put like filters in your videos too. I sometimes put filters, sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. Um, and like I feel like that's just a big part of your video. And obviously, as you can tell right now, my like background behind me ain't that good. Um, it's not that like clean, but I was able to at least some have somewhere to like find a spot. So another thing with. <laughs> Lighting is background. Have your YouTube background be more better, I guess. Top, not top notch, but like better. Like mine is not like good right now because mine's a little messy and everyone knows her like in her room. But yeah, lighting and having your room be presentable, I guess. Good background and good like where you put your phone or camera. I use a phone right now, but I'm getting a camera soon. So like don't have your like thing be like this if you can't even see yourself have it where it's like centered good okay this next tip is also it's kind of big kind of not um if you have a camera vlog on it use your camera um obviously your phone works perfectly fine just make sure at least the phone is somewhat like you can like record on it you can still see kind of okay like my phone i use my phone right now because I'm saving up to buy a camera, which I will be getting really soon, and I'm really excited for that. Um, but camera or phone, it works perfectly fine as long as you use something like that, and you have like, even if you use your phone like me, as long as you put your phone normally, you edit good, then you should be fine. Like nobody's gonna judge you for using a phone, because that's what happens when you first start. You have to use your phone. Okay, going back to the whole camera thingy. If you want to get a camera, if you're looking for a good camera, I will suggest the camera G7X. It is really good. I don't have it right now, but I am getting that camera. And it's also expensive. It's like $600. It's expensive. 
It is fun too. I will tell you that. But it is worth it. There are other $200 cameras that will not, it will just not work. You might as well get like an iPhone or any type of iPhone to use for it instead of it. So if I were you, I would get an actual, if you're going to buy a camera, save up to get an actual good camera. Like that, the camera that you said. Okay, the next tip is being consistent with your schedule. You could tell your like subscribers to, um, these are the days I'm posting on that makes it better to do that, but you can like tell your subscribers I'm posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, whatever. Um, it's also better to post daily or like consistently because um, that just improves your uh, subscriber count and it also improves your watch time because for your watch time, you have a whole year to try and get 4,000 um, watch time views um, and 1,000 subscribers to start getting paid. So it's better if you post either like daily or like, you know, whatever. Obviously, if you post once a week, you're going to have less of a chance to get one of your videos on like the YouTube, like for you page, I guess. I don't know, like the recommending page. So like if you post every day, it gives you a better chance. So if I were you, you could either post daily and have not really good editing or you could post twice three times a week and have really good editing so whichever one you choose is based on your interest based on what you want to do on youtube for every 1000 views on your channel you get one dollar now also listen to this per month you have to get a hundred thousand views in total or else you're not going to get paid until you get a hundred thousand views until you reach a hundred thousand views so, um, once you get that 100,000 views per month, you'll get a check in the mail for how much money you got that month based on your views, you know, all that stuff. So, like, if you got 70,000 views that month, don't expect a paycheck until those views goes up to 100,000, and then you can expect a check, a paycheck, whenever you get it, like, the next month. So, don't think that YouTube is like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so easy, I'm going to make money easily. No, I mean there are times where people just like become trending because of because of something stupid, but don't expect it's gonna be you. So try hard in your videos, edit your videos well, and don't expect money out of it. Just be happy with your video, be happy with YouTube, and have fun with it. Um, I literally I don't understand why I sound weird. I sound like like a special speaker. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, another one is make sure you know that you can't like play music in your videos. You don't want to get copyrighted. You don't want to get strikes on YouTube because if you do, you can get um like your account can get deleted practically. You can get demonetized. So, yeah, and if I were you, um, I would monetize your account before you get the subscribers, before you get the watch time hours, because if you do that, you can, once, once you get paid, you most likely will get paid within, like, a week or two. And obviously, like, personally, I'm not getting paid yet. I'm just making videos for fun, and I think if you start getting paid, I think it's dumb if you just make videos to get paid. That's so pointless. Um, I make videos because I like YouTube. I like editing. I like doing all that stuff. For me, that's fun. So if I post it for you as a video, I'm going to edit it the best I can. I'm going to do all that stuff, but not to get famous, you know? I feel like imagine being famous. That'd be kind of cool. Like, not going to lie, just... Imagine me being famous. That would not go well. Like, I'm not trying to get famous. I mean, yes, it'd be, like, cool to get, like, more subscribers and, like, more supporters, but, like, watching my work, but, like, still, that's not, like, what I'm going for. Like, that's not what you should be going for either. You should strive to get, like, good editing, good everything, but you should not strive for money because money will not buy you happiness. Okay, that sounds really cheesy.
and I don't even know how this is possible, but let me, I don't get that. <laughs> I mean, just, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so obviously, if you don't want to be copyrighted on YouTube, you could use this, it's um, a Safari site, and it's called epidemicsound.com, and that's where you can get all your non-copyrighted sounds, so YouTube doesn't copyright you, because if they do, you can get, once again, demonetized because of that so also make sure you don't put more than 30 seconds of an actual song in your video because obviously you can still get demonetized and there's like different strike rules so it's like one strike two strikes three strikes third strike you're out on youtube so make sure you're you take that really seriously or at least if you do use that music you pay that artist that you use the music from so you know make sure you use epidemicsound.com is really good okay so the next tip can be either useful or i guess non-useful um some people use it some people don't i sometimes use it like rarely but this helps you get your subscribers up and like new people to watch your videos so um if you're subscribed like if you're subscribed to like some of your favorite influencers have the notification bell on so you know when they post so when they post a video you can quickly in a matter of seconds swipe and go to their video and quickly comment something like oh my notifications are on or like they're awesome you know like anything like that and if you get lucky your um, comment will get a lot of thumbs up um, or a lot of people will see it they'll click on your profile and they'll subscribe to you um, I think this is more of like a ishy type of strategy but it could work like if you have a lot of your influencers that you're subscribed to they post a lot and you're able to do that then you do that either you you get whatever you need to do to get your subscribers up so i mean it's like an iffy strategy okay so strategy is make your videos interesting make your thumbnails interesting um do not use clickbait do not put your title as like oh i fell off a tree when there's no tree in the video don't do that because once people realize it's clickbait, they're going to click out of your video. They're not going to keep watching it and then your watch time viewers are going to go down. So you may think, oh yeah, I just got 200,000 views on that video, but your watch time is going to go down. So it's not going to help you anyways. So if I were you, I would have better thumbnails, but don't put clickbait. Like for your thumbnails, have them be like good quality thumbnails, but do not use Clickbait is just no. And also for your videos, make sure it's not the same. People are not going to watch that. Make your videos interesting. interesting. Have Go on a trending list. Watch people's videos and get inspiration from them. And try to make your videos, I don't know, get on the, like, the for you page, I guess you should say. So if I were you, I would just, like, go places. Like, obviously, don't make yourself, like, oh, today I'm going to go to this place just because of YouTube. Um, like if you can drive, then yeah, go ahead, do whatever you want. If you're gonna go to the mall, make a mall vlog. If you're gonna go to like traveling somewhere, make a travel vlog. Do something more than just like being in your house or something because that's boring and people aren't gonna realize that and they're just not gonna watch your videos. So make your videos interesting and make your thumbnails like good. Like, good to put a good name on your videos, but don't use clickbait. Okay, and this last tip is for like your profile picture. Make sure your profile picture is like a good name of yours or like an intro and good thing of yours. Um, and to change that, you can use an app called YouTube Studio. You can just download that right in the app store. It's free, no charge at all. You can easily just get it and then you can yeah, do your best, um, change whatever doing you want with your whole account thingy. And um, so with money, um, make sure you know that you're not going to just start off and instantly overnight you're going to become trending and then you're going to get famous and rich. That's not how YouTube works. Um, YouTube knows that that's how it works. So many more people try to do it. Um, so try to obviously get 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 uh, subscribers. Try your best. Once you get that. Don't be all like, oh my god, I'm going to be rich now. You're not going to be rich. Just so you know, like, you're not going to be instantly rich. 
um, per two thousand views, you make I think was it. Okay, so what I meant to say is per two thousand subscribers, you make two dollars. So per like one thousand views, you get a dollar. And that's it. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope this helped you guys, and I'm hoping this encourages you guys to keep going and to keep trying your best and getting 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers. That's a big milestone. So I'm hoping you really um, this helped you learn a lot from YouTube and all its ways and all that stuff. And if you guys did, then give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think I should do in my next video. Turn on my post notification bell. And subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.